My name is Martin Wanendaer. I'm a dentist with a practice limited to implantology based in Clapham in southwest London. I'm here to present a case of a replacement of an upper right fore with a prime taper EV implant. What you can see here is the initial radiograph taken. You can see from the CT scan and the intraoral scan, here rendered in Simplant, that we have a small buccal bony defect present. You can see the wax up with a crown in place and you can see a 4.2 by 11 millimeter implant planned in Simplant. You can see we've got adequate width for placement as well as adequate height. This is a stent and a shell that we're going to use to make the temporary crown as well as to the stent to position the implant and the shell to make the temporary crown. What you can see here is the stent in position and you can see from there we're raising a flap, we're using a round drill just to mark the site of the osteotomy. From having marked the site of the osteotomy, we are going to use first of all drill number one to full depth, drill number three to full depth, drill number four to full depth and drill number five, just cortical preparation only. This is the 4.2 by 11 millimeter prime taper implant being placed. The motor is set to 45 Newton centimeters. You can see how easily and nicely the implant draws into the osteotomy. And what you'll see at the end of the placement is when we hit 45 Newton centimeters, the implant is in exactly the correct position with a gradual buildup in primary stability. What we're doing next is trying in the shell crown and the stent to ensure that the contacts are adequate and that we can seat the shell crown as well as the holder. What I'm doing now is picking up the temp abutment uh, and the shell using some flowable composite. This flowable composite is run in and around the outside of the temp abutment, light cured, so that once it's light cured, what we then do is we undo the screw and we pick up the whole of the temporary crown. We then customize this extra orally to give us the ideal emergence profile. Having customized it and shaped and smoothed that composite, we then put this back into the mouth. We then torque it just to fit by hand to around 10 Newton centimeters. We then torque this finally to 15 Newton centimeters. Having done that, we fill the screw access hole with some PTFE. We then use a temporary crown and bridge material to fill the screw access hole. From now, we get to the occlusion to ensure no contacts in centric and no contacts in lateral. And this is checked finally with shim stock. As the final aspect of this check, we also carry out a radiographic check. You can see here the implant in place in a good position. And this is the patient at a two week review where we can see really nice, healthy, healed soft tissues. And we've managed to, again, make some efforts towards dealing with the dehiscence.